Modern science shows the power of plants, soil, and fungi to help bring our planet into balance. Instead of trying to control nature, it's time we remember our roots. We all come from nature. Nature is the mother of us all. That was a clip from the film Calming Ground, an, up, an uplifting story on the pioneers of the regenerative farming movement. And here to tell us more about the film are filmmakers Rebecca and Josh. Rebecca, Josh, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Thank you so much for having us, We're Jessica. excited to be here. Yes, I'm excited to have you. And I, for anyone that doesn't know, let's start with regenerative farming. And what is that? Well, regeneration as an idea is to heal or restore something. So when we talk about regenerative farming, you know, farming is the way we impact more land than anything else humans do. So we impact the planet. So it's about healing the planet, balancing the climate, and creating healthy food so that we have genuinely healthy food for everyone. And your film, Common Ground, took a deep dive into this. So tell me a little bit about the film and what it's all about. The film, Common Ground, has an incredible group of narrators. So we have Jason Momoa, Laura Dern, Rosario Dawson, Donald Glover, um, and they're all parents, and they're all concerned about the course that we're on when it comes to climate. And so as parents, the film really is a love letter, and we're also parents, to future generations. And it shows how we can stop and reverse climate change through bio sequestration. So as Josh mentioned, farming is the biggest way that we impact the planet. And so if we do regenerative agriculture, we can take all of that teraton of carbon that we've emitted into the atmosphere, and we can draw all of that down into healthy soil, creating nutrient-dense food, and also saving farmers. We have a farmer epidemic in the United States, a suicide epidemic, and we can turn that around through how we manage our land and the great news that we can reverse climate change. Wow, that's incredible. It's, it's really fascinating and definitely um, a, a topic that needs a lot more attention. So Josh, what has been the reaction so far? You guys are um, making stops and, and doing premieres of this film. What has been the reaction in the stops that you've made and people seeing it? Well, I think people get a sense of hope and well-being from the film. You know, you just talked about doom scrolling on the other show. You know, we're so inundated with bad news in our society, and especially around climate, the environment, there's almost no good news. This is good news. This is a way we can heal our soils, heal our climate, heal our cities too. You know, most people don't think about it, but there's a tremendous amount of growth inside a city, and there are ways that you can participate. Planter boxes, things in pots, things on your balcony, and even the medians, even the parks can be regenerative agriculture. So there's really a lot we can do in urban environments. All of it feels good. It feels good to watch the movie. The movie's actually a fun date movie because you can take somebody you love and experience this feeling of joy and, oh, we can make, we can make these things better. Yeah, yeah, we can make a little bit of change. Yeah. Rebecca, you mentioned some of these big names that took part in the film. Yeah. I'm curious about getting all of them to participate and, and why did you want that? And then how did they, why, why were they so interested in doing it as well? well? Have you ever heard the expression dull as dirt? Well, we didn't want to make that movie. Uh -huh. So we wanted to make a movie that really showed the importance of this issue, the, the huge potential for it to impact the future of human life on Earth, but also it, make it entertaining and make it fun for people to learn about this really exciting and hopeful news. And so each of these celebrities, their parents, like we're parents, they wanted to participate in it. Anyone who finds out that there really is hope, that there is a solution for how we can stabilize the climate, why wouldn't you want to participate in that? And yeah. so we were so fortunate to have this incredible group of people come together and put their whole hearts into telling this story. And we are so excited to share it with the world because it really does take the last 15 years of worry around what we're doing with our climate and it puts and infuses hope deep into, you know, your soul so that you can take action and move forward and reverse it. Yeah, incredible. I want to know about the process. I'm sure that putting this film together took long. So what was that like for you guys from start to getting it to a premiere? Well, a lot of people will have seen our prior film, Kiss the Ground. That one took seven years to make. This one took an additional three years to make. So we've actually been on this journey for 10 years. Wow. We didn't have kids when we started. We've got two kids now. Uh, so the process has been life consuming, but it's also given us life. It, these films are incredible. We get to interview scientists, 
farmers, ranchers, activists, people who've studied this their whole lives, and to, to really get into somebody's world who understands how carbon can get from the atmosphere to into soil, and to be able to explain that in a fun and exciting way to an audience, and then to get to meet Jason Momoa and all those people, that's great too. Yeah, I wasn't Cherry complaining about top, that part. Right? Yeah, exactly. I don't think you were complaining, Rebecca, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So my guys, other boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have a premiere here in San Francisco. Give me the details. How can people uh, check it out? Tomorrow night at the Presidio at 7 p.m. You can get tickets at commongroundfilm.org. We'll be there. Alice Waters will be there in an incredible group of local regenerative experts and we can talk about how here in the Bay Area we can regenerate. And is there a website or where can people look up information? Yeah, so commongroundfilm.org, also on Instagram, Common Ground Film. Okay. Yeah. What do you want everyone to take away from this movie? I, yeah, hope. You're hope, gonna say hope. Hope, yeah. that's it. Hope is yeah. the big thing. Hope, hope and the feeling of empowerment. Mm -hmm. This isn't just uh, oh I hope it gets figured out, but oh I see what I can do. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's a small thing, but Many small ripples make waves. Yeah. And that's what we want to do. We make a, a wave, sort of a groundswell of support for healing our planet. I want to talk about these small things because I know some people sometimes, and I'm this way, sometimes I feel like, what is my small thing going to yeah. do for the bigger picture? But I think it really does make a difference. So can you give a couple of examples maybe of small things that people can do that would make a big impact in their homes? Well, what, one of the things is just watching the film. Once you see Common Ground, you're going to have a whole bunch of ideas and information. You were going to say something. I can tell. Well, I mean, everyone can grow food, whether you have a window box or whether you have an apartment and there's a strip between the sidewalk and the street where you can grow food. But we can turn cities into food forests, and we can all participate in growing food. And that really is how you feed the world. There are other myths around how to feed the world, but the way to feed the world is to grow food and to get your hands dirty, and it feels so good doing it. And the other way that people can play a really active role is we vote three times a day every time we eat and so when we eat we're either voting for a future that's regenerative and thriving and we have carbon stored in healthy soil and people pro farmers making a profit or we're voting for degeneration and desertification and more carbon in the atmosphere and all that will come along with that and each one of us plays a role so we can support local regenerative organic farmers there are so many here in the bay area and each time someone eats they can support that process i love that that's a great helpful tip yeah. um, i can tell that you guys are both so passionate about this so i just want to thank you for joining us and sharing your passion with us and congratulations on the film and uh, i know that you guys will have a great time tomorrow at the event thank you jessica i'm so happy to be us. here yeah. thank Sorry you